Welcome everybody to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're at the beautiful Piddock Mansion with Executive Director Marta Bonas. Marta, who were the Piddocks? Henry and Georgiana were really important to the founding of Portland. They um, came across on the Oregon Trail, and Henry was the founder of the Daily Oregonian, which we still have today. And this home was completed in 1914. Yes. And uh, Edward Folks was the architect. And you know, there are so many beautiful modern amenities. Yes. Tell me about some of them. Well, we have the elevator, which is behind you here, a central vacuum system. We have an intercom system, as well as individual thermostats in every room. Unbelievable. And the staircase is really the focal point of the home. Yes. And a lot of the materials in the house were used, um, were um, brought in locally. So we have a lot of local marble here on the staircase. All right. I'm, I'm sort of in a musical state of mind. Do we have a room for that? Absolutely. This Let's way? go. Okay. This is one of the most beautiful rooms that I think is in the entire mansion. Yeah. It's, it's oval. It's ornate. It has the most beautiful view, but this wasn't the central location where everyone gathered, was it? No, they really spent a lot of time in the library next door. Well, for my money, I'm spending my time here because I love the fireplace, five mountain view, and it was a very musical family, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We have the original Pittock family, Steinway, from 1887. Both the daughters played. They were both sent back east for school, and so they were pretty accomplished musicians. The artisans really outdid themselves in the Turkish smoking room. It's beautiful. Yes, look at this beautiful floor work, and then as you look up at the ceiling, you've got this really intricate pattern there, and we can tell that the Pittocks didn't smoke in the room much because that's the original finish. An Edwardian period dining room, which I love, and I do love this table, but the people on that side will get the view of this beautiful five mountains through the window, but the, the people sitting here would get what? Well, they would be looking at the mirror, and so, interestingly enough, they would also be looking at the mountains out the window reflected. So someone was thinking. Yes. All definitely. right, let's go to the kitchen. Great. Okay. We just passed a walk-in refrigerator, which was pretty novel for its time. Why would they need a walk-in refrigerator? Well, actually, the house is pretty removed from town, and um, then it would have been even further. So they wanted to make sure they had enough supplies on hand. And this floor is so cool to walk on. What is this? This is actually 8,000 puzzle pieces in their rubber, so it would have been a little bit more comfortable to stand on, and if you drop something slippery, it would have been a little bit safer. Bounce right back up to you? Yes. And would they have cooked themselves? Probably not, right? No, they had some servants to help with things. So there's the man himself. After looking at a 16,000 square foot mansion, it's hard to believe he was penniless in 1853 when he crossed the Oregon Trail. Yes, he was. So he actually started typesetting for the Oregonian, and then he actually became the owner of the paper himself. Um, turned it into the daily paper and then um, got real estate, went into sheep ranching, lumber, I mean really diversified and, and amassed his fortune. And you're going to show me his master bedroom? Absolutely. All right. So this would have been one of the best views in the house through these windows here. Unbelievable. You see the entire city, nice veranda, but you said this would pretty much have been just Henry's room. Yes, Georgiana had her separate room. Did she get a fireplace as well? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, good. And the master bathroom you want to show me? It's pretty amazing, yeah. Right. We have to see it. Marta, I'm amazed. Usually in an older home, you don't see a walk-in closet. Right. This house has two or three. And uh, the bathroom has a unique feature that you really like. Yes. It's this amazing shower, which has water spraying at you from all angles. It's pretty um, innovative for 1914, intricate, and, and obviously going to get you clean. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a sleeping porch. Yes. And this is where the grandkids spent the night every night? Yes. With 11 people living in the house and a limited number of bedrooms, they were using the sleeping porches too. And back then, they thought that even though we would think it's cold and dank, that uh, it was supposed to be therapeutic to sleep out here? Yeah. Good for your health to get the fresh air. So you open the windows in this room, get a lot of fresh air, and the floor is canvas painted so that it could withstand all the weather that might come in. And there's drains in the floor. Yes, drains to um, allow all the rainwater to kind of go down into the gutter system of the house. Marta, it seems like I've seen just a small fraction of the 16,000 square feet. If I want to come back, what are the hours? We're open every day from 11 to 4. And how much am I going to have to shell out? <laughs> it's $8 for adults. And you can find out all the details on our website. All right. Marta Bonas, thank you very much. Thank you for being here as well at the Pittock Mansion. For the crew here, you're watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.